Potential of Space Technology for National Development, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai envisioned that this powerful technology could play a meaningful role in national development. Thus, the Indian Space Program began in 1962. Over the last two and a half decades, the Indian Space Program has made progress in self-reliant program. Its main objectives are 1. Mass communication and education via satellite 2. Survey and management of natural resources through remote sensing technology, environmental monitoring and meteorological forecasting and 3. Development of satellite launch vehicles. To understand Indian Space Program, one must know the primary space agency of the Indian government. Our space organization was set up in 1969 as the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. It is the sixth largest government space agency in the world. Developed two satellite launch vehicles named Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV and Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV to place IRS and INSAT satellites respectively in the required orbits. There are two major space systems in India. They are the Indian National Satellite INSAT system for communication, television broadcasting and meteorological services and Indian Remote Sensing IRS satellite system for natural resources monitoring and management. The largest domestic communication satellite system in the Asia-Pacific region is the Indian National Satellite INSAT system established in 1983, managed by INSAT Coordination Committee. Currently, it has 187 transponders in different bands such as C-band, S-band, etc. used for telecommunication, TV broadcasting, DTI, rural area connectivity, tele-education, village resource centers, search and rescue operations and emergency communications. It has nine satellites in operation. INSAT 2E, INSAT 3A, INSAT 3C, INSAT 3E, GSAT 2, INSAT 4A, INSAT 4B, INSAT 4CR and GSAT 8. ISRO provides space infrastructure for meteorological observations and currently INSAT 3A and Kalpana 1 are in operation. An advanced satellite for meteorological services INSAT 3D is under development. Likewise, GSAT series of satellites is a bunch of geostationary satellites developed by ISRO with an objective to make India self-reliant in broadcasting services. GSAT-10 with 30 transponders with 12 bands will be launched during 2012. ISRO is now working on an advanced communication satellite GSAT-2 introduced with an advanced K3 band satellite. New technologies such as chemical propulsion, ion propulsion, onboard autonomy, etc. have a mission life of 15 years. This followed by launch of GSAT-12 carrying 12 extended C-band transponders on board. The Indian Regional Navigational Satellite System is a constellation of 7 satellites, 3 in GEO and 4 in GSO orbits. Indian Remote Sensing Satellites IRS are a series of Earth observation satellites built, launched and maintained by ISRO. The IRS series provides remote sensing services to the country. The Indian Remote Sensing Satellite System is the largest constellation of remote sensing satellites for civilian use in operation today in the world. All the satellites provide data in a variety of spatial, spectral and temporal resolutions to enable several programs to be undertaken relevant to national development. The present versions are named based on their area of application 
including OCEA and OceanSat, CartoSat, ResourceSat and the recently launched ResourceSat 2 IRS which has very high resolution. ResourceSat 2 was successfully launched on board PSLV C16 in April 2011, built with enhanced capabilities for crop applications, vegetation dynamics and natural resources sensors besides providing continuity of services, realization of radar imaging satellite RISAT-1 has the unique capability of imaging during day and night, all weather conditions including fog and haze. Data from IRS satellites are received, processed and distributed by the National Remote Sensing Center NRSC Hyderabad to various user agencies. The Regional Remote Sensing Centers RRSC located at Bangalore, Dehradun, Jodhpur, Kharagpur and Napur, North East Space Application Center NESAC, Shillong, Space Application Center and the Bath. ISRO further applied its energies to the advancement of space transportation systems resulting in the creation of launch vehicle technology like Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV and Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV. Therefore, space transportation systems develop technologies needed for a payload to be placed in the, into a geostationary orbit. The first experimental satellite launch vehicle SLV-3 was developed in 1980. PSLV is the first operational launch vehicle of ISRO. PSLV is capable of launching 1600 kg satellites into 620 km sun synchronous polar orbit and 1050 kg satellite in geosynchronous transfer orbit. It measures 44.4 meters tall with a lift-off weight of 295 tons. PSLV has four stages using solid and liquid propulsion systems alternatively. PSLV has emerged as a versatile launch vehicle with 18 continuously successful flights till July 2011. In the recent Chandrayaan-1 mission, another variant of PSLV with an extended version of strap-on motors the payload was enhanced to 1750 kg in 620 km. The next is Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV, which is capable of placing INSAT 2 class of satellites around 2000 to 2500 kg into Geosynchronous Transfer Orbit GTO. GSLV is a three stage vehicle. It is 49 meters tall with 414 tons lift-off weight. It has a maximum diameter of 3.4 meters at the payload fairing. First stage comprises solid booster with four liquid straps. Second stage is liquid engine. And the third stage is cryo stage. The first flight of GSLV took place from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shar, Sriharikota. Sriharikota has successfully launched GSAT-1, GSAT-2, EDUSAT and INSAT-4CR satellites into orbit. However, the last two flights of GSLV-D3 and GSLV-F06 did not accomplish the mission. Space Science and Planetary Exploration Space science and research has been an integral part of the Indian Space Program. Indian Space Science Program covers research in areas like astronomy and astrophysics, planetary science and exploration, solar terrestrial physics including space weather, space meteorology and climate and microgravity science applications. The space science research activities are carried out mainly at ISRO laboratories such as Physical Research Laboratory PRL Ahmedabad, Space Physics Laboratory, SPL Tiruvananthapuram, National Atmospheric Research Laboratory, NARL Kadanki, and ISRO Satellite Center, ICAC, Bangalore. Application of Indian Space Program 
The huge success of ISRO lies in the launching of India's first unmanned moon mission, Chandrayaan-1 in 2008. The momentous task of placing the moon impact probe instrument with Indian tricolor painted on its surface, carried by Chandrayaan, was accomplished on November 14, 2008. The excellent quality of high resolution data from all the instruments has led to the identification of new lunar features, excellent topography and crater basins, and insight into shadowed areas in the lunar polar region and environmental factors around the moon. The analysis of scientific data has led to the significant scientific outcome of detection of water molecules on the lunar surface and rocks. The government has approved in September 2008 undertaking Chandrayaan-2 with an orbiter, lander and rover. Government has approved in November 2009 Aditya-1 project. Aditya-1 will be India's first space-based solar coronagraph mission for research in the field of solar astronomy. India uses its satellites communication network, one of the largest in the world, for applications such as land management, water resources management, natural disaster forecasting, radio networking, weather forecasting, meteorological imaging and computer communication. The direct beneficiaries of applied satellite technology are business, administrative services and schemes such as the National Informatics Centers. Key Points Indian Space Research Organization ISRO is country's apex space research organization. A landmark achievement of ISRO is the India's first mission to moon Chandrayaan which made remarkable contributions in understanding the moon's surface including the detection of water. The two major space programs in India are the Indian National Satellite Insight System for Communication, Television Broadcasting and Meteorological Services and Indian Remote Sensing IRS Satellite System for Natural Resources Monitoring and Management. PSLV is the first operational launch vehicle of ISRO, Chandrayaan-1 mission variant of PSLV with an extended version enhanced to carry 1750 kg in 620 kilometers. Some of the major application projects carried out are forecasting agricultural output using space, agrometrology and land-based observations FASAL, groundwater prospects mapping, water resources information system, potential fish zone mapping, forest mapping, watershed management, accelerated irrigation benefit program, natural resources census, snow and glacier studies, wastelands monitoring and space-based information system for decentralized planning. 